gorgeous Divine Days friends, welcome back to Divine Digi. I'm excited about this week's project because for a long time I've loved eating mussels and I've been throwing them away. And this time, after maybe 10 years, I finally found something we can use them for and create something lovely. And this is what I've created. Tea light candle holders. Here, with lovely little pearls stuck on the end, so our mussel shells no longer have to go in the bin. Yay! So how did I start? It's very, very simple. There's two ways. There's kind of a tricky way, and then I found a very easy way. But we start off with an old CD. Keep calm and be happy, CD. And obviously, lots of mussel shells. Now, I didn't collect these from the beach. I've ate them. And they're just normal boxes of mussels that we microwave or boil in the bag and eat. Wash the shells afterwards. So you have a fabulous selection, which no longer have to go in the bin because they're nice little things. They're quite pretty. It's a shame to throw them away. So, now this one, I used a glue gun. Remember any children who are watching, don't use a glue gun without an adult helping you because they get very hot and you can, if you're not careful, burn yourself. So this one, I've used a glue gun and I've just stuck all of the shells around the edge and then others in the middle and then popped their candle in the center. This one is a little bit better because these are stuck on with blue tack, which worked fabulous. Now, eye level, and you can see the CD underneath, eye level, you can see the blue tack attached to the shells just slightly, but if it's on a low table, you can't see it at all, and it looks fabulous, and it's a lot easier to do than the glue gun, but I'll just show you how I did it both ways. So, began with a CD. Now with the glue gun, always protect the area that you're working in and put an extra bit of card underneath your glue gun because it can drip and we don't want to damage our surface. And so, haven't got this plugged in, but taking a muscle shell, pop your glue around this area here. And because of the shape of the muscle shell, it's, it's quite difficult to just stick on with normal glue. But the hot glue, as a grip goes harder, it, it appears to be like a plastic, like a hard plastic. So when you've applied the glue here, straight away, just stick your shell, hold it in position, just on the edge of your CD. And then do the same all the way around. And then once you have the outer layer, you can then uh, attach the inner layer. And that, this one was made using the glue gun. And you can't see any glue really because of the shine from the CD underneath, but works very nice. But as I say, a little bit tricky that one. And for those of you who don't have a glue gun, Blue tack. Now, very easy. And you don't really need that much either. So, normal blue tack. Take a piece off and attach it to this little ridge in the shell. Just towards the end. And then simply stick on. They stick on fabulous and just press it down and you have that effect. Go all the way around with all your different shells. I used the biggest shells around the outside and then smaller ones around the inside. Just pop a little bit of blue tack here so you can see once you've gone around you're just going to put another one 
in front like that. So it goes all the way around and we have the nice pattern inside and the pearly effect from the mussel shell. And then lastly, take your tea light candle and you can pop it in the center like this. Absolutely fantastic. So we now have a use for our mussel shells. And on the edges here, I've used an old pearl necklace that I broke up and on this particular one we've used PVA glue and it managed to stick the pearls quite nicely around the edges like this. Very nice. And this one, the whole thing I've used the glue gun for, so it's hot glue to attach all the pearls here around the edge. Now, you don't have to use a tea light candle that you light. You can actually buy the battery operated ones if you are worried about lighting the candles. And they're readily available most places now. And so, it begins our tea light candles, our mussel shell tea light candles. So, all it takes now, I've been waiting for this moment to do it with you so we can do it together is lighting our candles. So remember children, you can't use a lighter, only adults use lighters. And for the finishing touches, and I have to be honest and tell you that my daughter Katie, who's 15, helped me make this one on the left with the blue tack. So we have Katie's one here, and the one I made with the glue gun here. Aren't they really lovely? Oh, they worked. Oh, I'm so happy. So, for all of you people who love mussels, don't throw the shells away. We finally come up with a great idea to use the mussel shells. And if you're one of those people who hate mussels, then ask friends and family to share their to um give you their, their shells when they're finished because I'm sure once we've started this, we can think of many more ways to um, use our shells. And so good luck with it all, people, and see you again soon. Bye-bye.